Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And uh, this morning I'm getting ready to put something into the crock pot. I was going to make Jan from New York City's chicken breast um, and honey recipe that she put online that looks so delicious. And I thought I had everything for the recipe, but there was only one ingredient I was missing. The boneless chicken skinless breast. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a vain ingredient that you need, right? So anyways, I put the chicken breasts on my shopping list for next week. And for this week, um, for Monday today, I have the day off. But I'm going to try to get a lot of housework and different stuff done. So I am going to make some country-style spare ribs in the crock pot, okay? This is a super basic and super easy recipe. I'll try to put the recipe in the comments. I mean, it's so easy that you could just... Kind of wing it together but if somebody wants to snapshot or screenshot a picture then i'll try to put it in there for you i've been trying to i've been better about that lately so i'm just going to tilt the camera down so you can see okay and the first thing we're going to put in is our uh country country spare ribs so i guess they do have a bone in them but we've got i think there's four of them here we're simply going to put those into the crock pot. And I'm going to go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm going to make these a little sweet and savory at the same time. So I am going to sprinkle some garlic powder over them. I always have cooked with the garlic salt. I just started cooking with the garlic powder and I didn't realize what a difference it is. Um, it's a more potent garlic taste to me. And then I'm just gonna put some ground cinnamon in there. I get this at the Dollar General for a dollar uh, a jar. And I have some brown sugar. I'm just gonna put uh, couple handfuls is what I'm gonna do. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a cup to do it. My hands don't get all sticky. But this is a quarter cup right here, and I'm gonna put two of these, so two quarters of a, or so what is that? Two eighths of a cup. And then the last two ingredients are going to be a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. I find the crushed is better. Leave the juices in, okay? That's all gonna go right into the pot. And an 18 ounce can of any kind of barbecue sauce that you like. So this one, I'm not adding fresh onions. I'm not adding fresh garlic. I'm just doing the ingredients that I showed you right here. So easy. Jackie Brown, she has a channel too. Jacqueline Brown, her channel's name is. She made some acorn squash last night on her channel. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline. That acorn squash looks so delicious. Now I want some of that too. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. That's all that we're going to put in here. We're going to put the lid on we're going to set this on low and we're going to set it for eight hours okay and i'll be back when it's ready all right you guys have a great day i'll see you back in a little bit okay guys here is the crock pot with the spare ribs in um in them and you can see it's still boiling a little bit it just turned to warm I'm going to I already pulled a little bit off and put it on my plate so it would cool down so I can try it with you but I have to tell you it smells amazing so I, I put a little bit on my plate
Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, that is so good. You can taste a little bit of cinnamon and brown sugar in there. Along with the pineapple and of course the barbecue sauce. Everything blended together. This is really wonderful. So this is such an easy recipe and yet it is so delicious. So I hope you guys will try this and I hope you will be um, not disappointed when you do try it. Okay. So I have made white rice and um, I have some broccoli almost ready to come off the stove and that's what we're having for dinner. And I will also do a video of it because I'm doing some what's for dinner nights um and so i'll show you my plate all plated in that video but for this one this is a total thumbs up you guys you really gotta try it all right you guys have a good evening good morning good day whatever and i'll see you back here again tomorrow bye guys